Hello everyone, CD5 Holy here. I'm gonna work on a new team because, because, I heard Shinjoy say something funny. Is there an item or ability that hasn't been used in 139 yet outside of completely useless spells like Ultima? What? What are you kidding? Have you, have you seen? Okay, hang on. Hang on let's, let's bring up Ultima. Here, here it is. I saw that and like, I instantly came up with two units, two decent units I think that could use Ultima, so we're gonna make a team with that, because... Okay. Okay. Damage, MA times 9. Doesn't look that amazing, except you realize it doesn't require faith, and also, wait, it doesn't require faith, and you know, MA times 9, you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of Cheery. Which I think we all agree is really good. This is a ranged cheery. Lower AoE, yes, but ranged. That's pretty good. That means you aren't getting, you're less likely to get hit while you blow people up. So how is Ultima useless? It does damage. It does pretty darn good damage. It is not useless. You are silly. Holy crap. Like, no. Like, okay, you know what, you know what, you know what, you know what? Okay, I, I admit, okay, 300 DJP, that's quite a bit. 5 CT, yes, that's not great. Basic skill, not the best skill set, but it's not bad, and like, it's, Ultima is fine. How can you say it's useless? That's just, abs that is absurd. Anyway, so let's make a team around it, cause, yeah, I need to, f I need to fix that. That's just wrong. I can't let that go unignored. I'm not actually mad. Um, I just thought it was funny. Um, it, it Ultima's totally fine. Ultima is totally fine. So let's make it happen. So, um, you notice I have black magic here because if you don't need faith for Ultima, you don't need faith for nether spells either. So that seems good. I'll probably just use nether fire for the bigger AoE. Um, in the other unit I thought that'd be good is... Not actually Samurai, though that could work too. Um, but seems redundant. But Mediator. Because Mediator has pretty good stats, right? We've got good, pretty good HP, good speed, decent MA. Um, so, like, the Mediator won't hit as hard. Um, but Toxiel doesn't care about Faith either. So we have a, a Wizard with Ultima and a Mediator with Ultima. Doesn't, that, doesn't, that seems fine. And if I'm stacking MA, then these become really accurate. That's also good. That's also good. So, you know, good in theory, but I haven't done so well, I'm tired, eh, let's see what happens. So, what are we gonna do? Um, probably just gonna want, like, high MA stuff, so... I'll probably have to move these units around. I don't know where, where would they make sense? I'm fine with the mediator going like a first unit and then we can move the wizard down a little bit. Might be awkward and overboard to have two units with basic skill and thus Ultima, but it's probably not bad. Wizard female Um Forty forty, why not? I don't need the uh, faith. Forty forty helps keep me alive. All right, so we just use some another fire. It's a basic skill. One-handed typing is slow. I've said that before. Do you want these? Nah, eh, maybe we'll see. Oh, I can even use I can even use focus for more MA. That's cute. That's pretty. That's pretty good. I probably won't move MP up. Um, certainly on this one, I might not care as much for the Meteor, Meteor, because of, um, Consumes Talk Skills. Probably want Magic Attack up. On both, because why not? Um, I like my damage, what can I say? I mean, no, no surprises there, right? Um, I'd want 18 MA on the Wizard and 15 MA on the Meteor, so very greedy, but that's 180 damage and 260 damage Ultimas, so that's pretty good. I probably settle with just 15 MA on the wizard too, right? I'm doing 180 times 2, 360 damage, that's a lot. But then if they have, 
healing or whatever. We'll, we'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. Um, if I want 15 MA, I'd go C bag. Um, it's 11. What do I go? Wizard robe or some other robe? I could go white robe. So what? Holy meter or miter? Either wizard robe or white robe here, and then either magic gauntlet. If white robe, then magic gauntlet. If wizard robe, then I can do something else for accessory. What does wizard robe do for me? Not that much HP, right? I only have like 280 some with it. 290. And like ultimate 20 MP, that's that's pretty reasonable. That's very reasonable. It is it is slow, which is awkward because units are fast. 13 so 18 ticks before one ultima goes off on the 8 speed unit. With the mediator was 9 speed then. 17 or 15 if I go for a speed point. Go like spin shoes. That doesn't seem bad. I'm super vulnerable to stats, but I'm 40-40, so it should be okay, right? Um, probably want a white magic user, or like a monk. Monk-like person. Hmm. See, so yeah, I just I just thought those two units for Ultima, so now we'll have to round out the team and make, make something work with them. <laughs> um... Ultima is useless. <laughs> Good one, Shintrai. Um, Stall's 300 JP, right? Cause, yeah, so that's important to keep track. That's a slight error in the memory thingy. Um, with my, my super MA though, oh right, we want magic hack up here too. Magic. Because I love the damage. I mean, going max damage has its upsides and downsides naturally. Like, it could be it could be problematic. How funny it would be if I just had, had like people like teleporting cheery people as well. That could be funny. Doesn't seem good. I'd rather not. It, it would be funny, but just anything with magic defense up. But everyone, everyone guards against physical stuff, right? Eh. Mm, jump doesn't seem bad all of a sudden. Why does jump come into mind? Because ranged and unavoidable. And yeah, wait. Not reflectable? Not evadable? Ultima is useless? Does not compute. The robot in me is confused. Um, anyways, I've said enough about that. Let's move on to something else, like actually making this team. So what should I do, guys? Help. Um, do I want to move MP up here? If I want to raise two user, but I don't need a raise two user. If I, like, I have a monk, then I give chakra, which helps, with, which could help with MP stuff. Has revive. Monks are good. Monks are good. Hey, one of those quickening item bots. Could be a good time for that too. Hmm. Hmm. This is definitely interesting. It's like this meteor has enough for five ultimas. Is that enough? The wizard's gonna have more MP. Depending on how much MA I wanna give, I might be in the same conundrum. Let's probably just start off with the wizard rod. That's like a no brainer. Like what what else is you gonna use? H bag, maybe? That is reasonable. <laughs> They're forty forty. I really like the Nether skills. They they allow they allow cool units like this with a forty forty unit to do cool magic stuff. I like it. That's 
It's just really nice. Diversity of builds and stuff. It's cool. It's really cool. It's really cool. So what's good? Chemist with quickening. Thief with item. Monk with quickening. I like my monks with quickening. Mime doesn't seem as good. Oh, I could be funny. Wait, if I don't need absorb MP, if I use like absorb MP, let's make sure you have ultimate learned. You have ultimate learned. You have ultimate learned. Um. Heal. Thorstone could be cute. Yell could be cute too. Wait, Yell costs MP. I don't want things to cost MP. Um, but I was thinking absorb MP because if I could do. Wow, that's so relaxing. I could use like a bard or someone with sing. Ready for a magic song? Solves MP issues here, makes Ultima stronger. Oh. Huh. And hmm. And since we're dealing dealing with range stuff and MA boosting stuff, that makes me want to look at Geomancer. So bards have good stats for Geomancy. So I can sing for a bit. And then use some buff geomancy. Except you want you'd want match hack up a two. But I've already used that magic attack up, so that's kind of sad. Alternatively, I could use... Um, if I do use a Geomancy bard, then Wizard here could get short charge. I just have good MA to begin with. Count on the magic song, but if the range unit might won't use magic song that much, probably. Hmm. What's the best way to support this team? One thing is for sure: the so time sin slash magic defense up will crap all over this. Cause that is a that's a very significant reduction in damage. But that is essentially my one fear, and we're getting overrun by fast, scary guys. Um, fast, scary melee units. Saras, I'm not as concerned about because of... What do you call it? You know. You know. What is it called? The um, you know that one thing the for what was I even I don't even know what I was trying to say anymore. Do I want yell? It's instant, which is nice. I worry I could be yelling a lot at people for no reason. Also, wish on wizard feels really sad because of the low hit rate. It's seventy some percent. That is not something I want to gamble on. I mean, it's range, which is nice. Well, we could certainly try the finger guard. We could try a more defensive reaction. Ooh. Critical quick? What would be a good reaction? Critical quick or crown trigger are both interesting. Where's no? Sword MP, no. Dragon Spirit, counter flip, no. Bone slash could be hilarious. Abandon? No. Damage split? No. Distribute? No. MA save? Maybe. Auto potion. Caution? No. Counter tackle? Eh. No. 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 Auto potion? Maybe. Counter? No. Speed save? Or projectile guard? Oh, I don't care. I don't know spell guns. Whatever. HP restore could be funny. Regenerator? No. Critical quick doesn't sound bad. Um, if I don't need a lot of MA, if 
I do not need a lot of MA, then I could use... Blood costume or defense armlet. Definite mild inspiration from Otabo here. Cause it's not bad, it, it prevents uh, don't act as well, right? And uh, oh yeah, I just go holy meter. Wow, this is a lot of MA. Glass cannon. Mm mm. Woohoo, that is not a lot of HP. But that's okay. Finger guard. Let's do it. Inspiration from Baron there. Actually, no, wait. I want a defense armlet for nether fire, letting me heal off critical quick. Though if I'm counting on something like only triggers on critical, why not HP restore? Well, with wizards, they can at least run away and then cast the spell, right? If I give them this option, they can run away or just stand and heal as well as- huh. Critical quick is interesting. I'll say that much. I'm not sure if this is right or not. Why is it not counting stuff? This is 12, 14, 16, 18. This is 18 at MA. This could be pretty good. That should be a pretty scary nether fire too, right? The good AoE. I can heal. So this makes me want to put like black costume or even... Depends on what. Huh. I'm, r I'm really counting on my wizard for a lot of stuff here then, if that's the case. I'm gonna go with that. Do I still want to absorb MP? Probably not. Don't know what I'd want. Is a monk with... Hmm. So like... So it's only a monk with a uh, curse ring and black costume. Sounds pretty good. Right, if I go, let's see. I can do the FS bag because the curse ring provides speed. Chakra band, still awesome. Black costume. Cursed ring. This is an oft often used setup as well. 16 PA, 10 speed. Deals with three elements. Chocoban awesomeness. Not great healing with the Unfury, but that should be okay, hopefully. Um, I'm boring, so, and I don't know what. Nothing else comes to mind, so go, go, quickening. Oh, brain dead. Sup damned. So maybe I won't. Well, we'll see. Pink fist when in doubt. I want the martial arts. Well, this assumes I want to go a monk, but... Like, do I really want all this fire absorb? It's nice. It's a nice option. Would it be funny to just go 20 MA, and then if I get one more MA from like a magic song? That's, that'd be a lot of damage. That'd be a lot of damage. But defense armor does make me immune to don't act, right? Accessories, defense armlet. Yeah, immune to don't act. That's pretty good. Defense ring probably overall better. Hmm. Well, actually, in that case, I can also... I have JP to spare, right? So let's just change this defense ring, then. Also guards against tornado. <laughs> but yeah, that seems good. But nether bolt is still very damaging. I still have the, the AoE option with nether fire. 
and I still got good ultimate damage and protect against more statuses. All in one. That's pretty nice. Um, okay, so maybe I don't want this unit then. Maybe this is not what I want. I take a while to decide what I want, but monks are just so good. They do so much. Like, good healing, they can revive, they cure a lot of statuses, good damage if you want, or just use them defensively just for the chakra and signature and sacred fists. They're so good. Oh, maybe I should post a poison frog. That one team I showed off that one time when I did the super sped up match. Does anyone want me to do that again? That was fun. I know some people liked it, and I know some people didn't like it. And a lot of people didn't make any comment at all. I definitely had fun. Is this fun for you guys? 20 minutes and we still haven't really completed two units? What am I doing? Do I want Yao? Do I want heal? Yes. Oh my god. No, 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 defense ring. I was just thinking, because I could go magic armlet. Or magic armlet. Focus. Come on a turn one focus to hit 21 MA and then have 252 damage ultimas for days? Sounds hilarious. Um, but I could change you all for focus. I could do it. It's like an extra 9 damage. Eh, I'd rather save the CT. Or go for, at this point, because I have yell, I'd go for yell. Oh, but if I would focus, I wouldn't have yell. Now this is fine. I like this wizard. I like where this wizard is going. We'll give you a name at some point, Ultima, I guess, to be cute, sort of. Sure, Virgo. Or Servantarius, either one. I mean... Forty-four. The serpent tires don't seem bad. <laughs> um, well, we'll do that later. Um, oh yeah, mediator. Okay. Well, so assuming magic hack up does also boost talk skills. The MA used in talk skills. This meter has an effect of twenty MA. Which equals very, very insane talk skill rates. Skimming Darvon, what the hell, we can get yell. Ah, uh, nah, let's not get yell on this one. I don't want them to just be yelling the whole time, and I want them to actually do stuff too. But heal is a nice status option. Um, so I think it's worth having heal. Do I want to get rid of statuses? Refute's generally pretty good, and I mean, it's... Jesus Christ. Crap. Oh, er... <laughs> that is a 70% chance refute. Steady up is an insult? Whoa, that's pretty good. How much AP do I have? I want all of these. I, wow, I could just keep getting it. Um, but maybe I should get... This is going to be very contingent on reaction and support. Oh god. Our reaction movement. Like, do I want move MP up? Is that what I want? I feel like I want someone tanky. I was suddenly thinking of like a low HP squire. A low HP is something. Someone. So I could evade. Thieves are squishy enough good evade. Ninjas more squishy, slightly worse evade. Mimes have good evade. Can't equip weapons. Can't equip shields either. I don't think I want mimes. Like, what would mimes do? Like, I'd be an item person, and 
I'd be like, what, equip shield, a bend? That seems lame. I want someone who can already equip those things. So that sounds like either Swire or Geomancer. So like... Geomancer... Either Bandon or Awareness. Then we go like defense up. Or a yielding. We have something defensive, and then we can go like. Oh, wait. Geomancer can equip like everything. Axes have good evade, I think. Straighten my back. Battle axe. You don't say. Scooch in two. Swift plate. Scooch in two. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. Scooch in two. Is that how you spell it? Holy crap, that's how you spell it? That is how you spell it. Jeez. Then we go Thief Hat. Who cares about elements if I'm not getting hit? Secret Clothes. Somehow it says I have six that little HP. Maybe I would want that little HP for um... I can go 40-40 here as well? And then have good magic evade with like leather mantle, so good. Yeah, let's do leather mantle. This is gonna be really funny. That's an ass ton of evade. Holy crap. Humans aren't great. And I'm just all defense. It's not a great skill set. I feel like I uh, do I want someone tanky? I could just have I just pile on more damage. That's what I usually do. I feel like having do I want some I mean that geomancer definitely seems pretty annoying. Hmm. Lancer, fast Lancer, poke poke. I'll work on this later. That's interesting, but I don't think this is what I want to do. I don't, cause like, like what would the Geomancer be doing? Item? I'll think more about what I want. Then get back to you guys on this. Stay tuned for part two. All right, C5 Holy here back for part two. Obviously, it's the same video for you guys, but I'm back after like two weeks of not working on this team. Um, so I looked at what I just did right before, which is that ev evasive geomancer. That looks pretty fun, honestly, but. Uh, well, I'll I'll continue, I'll reconsider it as things go. Um, so what I brainstormed later that first night slash like a week ago as well was um no oh, you guys can see part of it but here absorb MP ton monk with the ninjutsus and then. White Magic Scholar using Lores, so then I have Absorb MP on the Mediator and Monk, and then move MP up on the Scholar, the Lore user. Um, 
Basically, I have to absorb MP on the monk to be extremely greedy, so I can still use chocolate band instead of focus band. Um, but then this also solves MP issues for the mediator as well, possibly. With the lore chipping away at people and stuff. Um, or even a tiny bit of healing if I want. Not sure yet. Another thought. And then I wanted a ton monk. I wanted the monk to use the tons because of... Um, this is long range. If I'm using Ultima, it's pretty long range. I just keep bombarding them at a distance. And like the tons do a lot of damage. So, good way to kill people. But... So that's one thing I thought, and then I thought, okay, if I want to go range, I could use an archer. Atheist bow could be funny, right? None of my stuff cares about faith, but then it, could, could, it potentially shuts down random synergies um, on the opponent's team, right? If you hit an, a white magic user, uh-oh, no more raise two for them. Um, but that's only four range. So other options include ice bow, which is... Um, you know, stop. And an extra speed point of speed, that's pretty cool. Um, longbow for the huge range, which could be fun. Hunting bow, adds don't move. Which would also be funny. Right, keep them away from me. Um, combine that with possibly another white magic lore user. Give the archer speed save. The meteor gets absorb MP, stuff like that. Um, and then, I'm not sure how I came up with the Masamune Monk idea, but then I thought, okay, Longbow, that seems fun. 12 speed, that's good. Right, boost bow damage. Give it items I need some way to support. Monks can also support with Chakra and Revive, and then Masamune Haste is good, especially with fast people, like that archer. I think that's what I thought, but again, it's been a while. So for any of you looking for insights into how I build teams. I know Sciencaster, you're a fan of these videos. Sorry! I screwed it up again. Ah, whoops. Oh well. So let's try and salvage this, shall we? Yes. 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 Bloop. As for whatever the heck else was on the document, uh, my... Yeah. Um... That's the document I usually use to type notes for commentary. And the ton of stuff there was for a little project thingy. Based on tournament data. FFT Arena tournament data. Woohoo! Um, did it for a school project. Got an A. Yay. No, who cares about grades? Grades are dumb. Okay, 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 okay. Focus, focus, focus. The reason there's a part two is because I took started to take way too long to begin with the first time. Okay. I'm definitely liking the archer idea. Um, longbow. Longbow isn't something you see that often, I don't think. Um, and the idea is that because the ultimas are going to be doing a ton of damage anyways, um, then I can just give the archer concentrate, so it doesn't have to deal with the evade. So you get guarantees, like enough damage, so the ultimates can hopefully get a get a two hit KO, at least for like lower HP units. Um, and two ultimates will two hit KO people, but I guess the ultimate units are going to get. Oh no, one meter. This meter is faster. Nine's faster, but less damage. Wizard is just all damage. Okay. Oh, I have yell for random haste. Hmm. Interesting. Do I want random absorb synergies. I could do that. Use <clears throat> lightning or something else. I don't know. I think the idea for a lore user was similar. Like, not only did it trigger the absorb MP, you probably go that route, but it just pokes away at the enemy, softens them up for the ultimas. Let's see. Woo, 
Ooh, they're scary Ultimas. Two Ultimas, 396 damage combined. That's a lot of dead units. That'll be interesting. So yeah, maybe the Archer and Meteor could take one. Wizard. Really injures another one. Oh, the nice thing about Monk is if I can go like Earth Slash. That's also a ranged option. But then like people have, there's Flash Hat and people are scared of Quake. And tornado. What am I doing? I think that's why I came why I thought of the evasive geomancer in the first place. Because one, the battle axe randomly kills people. It's always it's fun. Um You could give it like item or something. And then because the two Ultimas are just going to be killing people, basically. Um, so I think that's why I thought I could use the Geomancer. That looks like a pretty fun unit, but hang on. If I, w if I want to do the Archer, <coughs> I do think the Archer seems like a good idea. Now let's cook up a draft of the archer. Uh, wrong thing. <coughs> so, probably male. 70. Oh, cover fire! That is something, huh? <coughs> Not cost MP. 12 MP. Can do a lot of damage. It's random. It would let me continue the 40 40 trend, though. Which is pretty neat. Item for now. <coughs> Concentrate. Oh wow, that's a lot of JP already. What? Oh wait, why are all those selected? That's why so much JP was taken up already. Wow, when did late game and arm aim cost so little JP? Is that new? Did I miss that? Wow. And these still cost so much! Oh my god, these are so much worse, I think. Um, that's cute. Look at how expensive that is! God. Okay. Um. Well, probably good. Move HP up. When in doubt. Move HP up is just awesome. I could give this guy auto potion. Seed save would be really cute with the lore user. I think I like the I want I like the idea of having all USD 40 40. Or 40 faith at least. Which also wants me to use the muscle mini monk or whatever. Like what am I missing? Some form of disruption. Killing people is the best way to, way to disrupt people, though, right? 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 That's usually my strategy. Um, that's also totally like old man heuristics. When I say old man heuristics, I say that it's me. It's like my way of thinking about things that I've been doing FFT arena stuff for a long time, but then like, since I don't play that much and I haven't been as super involved, um, my thought patterns have stayed basically the same, and I don't I don't know if I'm doing things differently. I, I don't think I'm improving very much. I don't know. Maybe I am. I'm probably not. I don't play enough. I, I'm not involved enough. <laughs> I 
don't need speed save. <coughs> oh no, push. Is that the same amount of JP? Wow, it's cheaper. That's cool. That's good for me. Bandage. Soft. Probably want high potion. Yeah, I want high potion. <laughs> or X potion. He has 130 HP now? That's a pretty good amount. Hmm. Okay, so... Longbow. Just be fast. Now that's the thing, I can do, if I go Ice Bow, I get an extra speed point right there. This is 12 speed. So then I can do something like Church. Ice Bow... Like, if we look at longbows, Ice Bow looks really, really good. We get that awesome speed point. Instantly push the archer at 10 speed. Solid WP. 25% chance to add stop? Wow. I think with these bows, it's... With at least the Ice Bow and Lightning Bow, it's kind of risky to use as part of an elemental absorb strategy, because those procs are nasty. Like, that, like, this seems really scary. That seems really scary in my mind. Ice and light, light, lightning would be good too. Don't act and stop, pretty similar. They both disable the unit. Um, so which element is more likely to be absorbed? Probably ice at the moment. Maybe my guess, because of tornado? Sand outfit absorbs ice and wind. I don't know, I don't know. Wind slash bow would good for elemental absorb because full damage. I could also go Ultimate Spell for more damage if I wanted. Um, it seems fine. That's another option I have. For heavier hitting Archer instead of the more long range snipey cuteness. You know, we don't see Longbow that often. At least not in my opinion. I know a couple of people have used it, but I don't think it's been used too much. Sprint shoes. So I'm just going cursing for a moment. Okay, so 12 speed, 11 times 12, 132 damage. <laughs> Not amazing, but again, in the context of having, but well, that's probably enough for like t to set up an Ultima. So that's pretty good in my book. And again, if he's really fast, he just keeps chipping away at you. Hopefully that works out. Um. Now, what's my last unit gonna be? What if I use that Geomancer? It'd make him like super tanky. I guess he'd also be an item user. Or super evasive. And then like just any ninja just kills him, so that saying that sounds terrible. Hit a knife is still a thing. <laughs> you know someone was saying, ooh, let's use rods more. An octagon rod is a good rod. Ivory Rod does pretty good damage. Put on a um, female samurai because you got the NA2 hands. Thirteen times sixteen minimum, or thirteen times eighteen minimum. Wow! Holy crap! That's good damage too. And it keeps the uh, rod somewhat relevant. Yeah, that's something to consider in the future. Like, it's, it's not a new unit idea. I know, I think FCC's used that before. But sometimes you just need to go over things again and just, like, think about what those numbers are actually telling you. 
Numbers say a lot. Numbers say a lot. Hmm. You know what else says a lot? My stomach. I am hungry. Also thirsty. So let me get some water. Mm mm. Drink water. If you feel tired during the day, drink some water. Or probably take a nap. Or both. You're probably tired for a reason. Okay, let's see. Wait, man, gosh, it's two handle. <laughs> I made a unit like that before, right? The two-hand main gosh unit? Meant to be semi-evasive and stuff. It would have been like a mediator. Hmm. Another mediator, random talk skill. Everyone's... I think people are starting to use finger guard. Cause, yeah. Talk skill's good. As, as we all know, as we all know. How long am I taking? Ooh, a while. All right, what should this next unit do? Hmm. I could, if I'm thinking long range stuff, I could use a Lancer for a jump. I wonder if I said that in the last video. Hmm. What would be good? What do I, what do I need right now? Like, offense seems pretty good, so I feel like I want a bit more of a supporty unit. Which makes monks so attractive. Um, I think one thing I'm actually worried about would be really fast units. Because Ultima does have... it is 5 CT. It's pretty slow. It's like, holy. God, Holy used to be 4 CT, and that was pretty nuts. That's... Woo! That was... that was a scary time. But yeah, Ultima, 5 CT. So... Like a 12 speed unit... Yeah, 12 speed unit... Can... Attack... A 12 speed unit will get their second turn before the ultima on my wizard goes off. And that is mildly concerning. Because 12 speed units exist. Uh, that, that is a concern of mine. But... Do I want to execute or another item? That's not a thing worth considering. No, I'm fine with the execute. Could have a seal evil. Oh, everything's so hard. But I, I think this archer is fine. I'm definitely curious. I need to be cute. The hunting bow would be super cute for the don't move. But... Would that be better? That definitely keeps the units away. It's only 50% chance, though, of the don't move. Which isn't bad. I can go swift plate. I could still have 12 speed. Hmm. Yeah, hunting bow, swift plate, church, or a different thing up here instead, you know. I change one of these. Hmm. Haunting Bow used to be 100% don't move. Those were the days of 
no, of not a, as well balanced a game. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, I wonder if with lo the longbow he'd actually stay too far away. Because it's at 7 range, he can, he can just snipe away and then suddenly it's the ultimate users who are getting beat up first. Also, wait, do meteors have 4 move? They do! Huh. Uh oh. Oh, I think I can give the meteor move MP up. No. And you know what? We're here. Finger guard. Oh, it's absorb fire. Oh, okay. <gasps> Nether is based on fury. Right, not low faith, but fury, unfury, low fury. So that, was, that suddenly made me want to do monk, curse ring, black costume, get another fire absorb fun. This works. God, defense rings absorb, wow. Absorb wind and lightning. Geomancy doesn't do enough. Doesn't do enough without move without the magic that cut. But it's it would fill a supporting role, kind of like the um, like the longbow archer, right? Softens them up for the ultimas. That was a super evasive geomancy. That could really be really funny, honestly. It's pretty tempting. I love me some monks, but I should try something else every now and then. They do so. Monks are so good. Monks are so good, that's the thing. They're so good. <coughs> I think if I were smart, I'd use the monk. You could still use the monk. <coughs> about using the ton monk. And give absorb MP because like it's a ranged option. I can give the monk absorb MP. Hope for like another fire thing going on. <coughs> That's still good damage. Except what I want no, I wouldn't want that. Do I want another I'm suddenly going to be counting on enemies doing stuff to me. That said, 17 PA with attack up is 22? That's still pretty good. <coughs> That's not bad at all. So monks have 40 some MP. That gives me 4 tons to use. Um, give him absorb MP just to hope, or just not care? Just to get 4, four tons, then after that he's got to use his punch arts. Hmm. <clears throat> How much JP would that take? A lot, right? I'd get... I could use Futon for heal. Oh, wow. <clears throat> I probably want two of these. So 300, 550, 
2700? Bam, repeating fist. That's a unit. That would be a unit. If I want, I could. Oh. Hmm. It's probably good to have repeating fists. <sighs> but I kind of want to go Earth Slash. Range option. And then I'd get um, move plus one instead of move HP up. Or just not have a movement ability. That could be cute. That could be really cute. That could be really cute. Absorb MP. Oh wait, no, I, I'm I want to tack up. Not oh crap, that changes. JP calculations. But at least that's cheaper. Photon, let's be heal. Meton? Suton? Gets around flash hat better. That's another 500 JP. Which gives me... Do you repeating wave? I could do Earth Spin Fist? Because my, my, my plan is... F whoops. That is not a movement ability. What, tie it around your, your leg as a weight? Maybe that's what it's for. It's really heavy. Plus two PA? I don't know what I'm talking about. On a totally unrelated note, um, if you're looking for a good song, Sayonara Rolling Star from Beautiful Katamari OST, really good. I'm a fan, I've been, that's, I've been listening to it a lot lately. So that's the so anyway. So yeah, that's the setup I was thinking about, which is why I wanted elemental stuff. That's why I wanted to go to slash all of a sudden. <clears throat> um, if I want to be more realistic, focus band gives me the MP. But I'm not immune to statuses, which is kind of sad. <coughs> nah, sorry. So those are some very nice asses to be immune to. Right? Draco Band. Undead, Petrified, Darkness, Berserk, Frog, Stop, Trap. Oh my god. Why would I run anything else? It's so good. Oh my god. Those statuses all mess you up really hard. Huh. <sighs> Yeah. Um, do I have MP for JB for Ether? Nope. Let's so swap soft for Ether. How frequent is Petrify? I feel like Maiden's Kiss might be better if you're getting rid of sleep. So, okay, wait, hang on. You're immune to don't act. You're immune to several things, but sleep. 
With chocolate band, who cares? Oh, uh, you, you're gonna still be, you're still susceptible to sleep. If you're disabled, item doesn't matter. You also have, you have finger guard, so then, god dang it, items are weird. I know they're so weird. Oh wait, wait, he has chakra. Who cares about what his MP is? He'll get it back eventually. I'm, wow, I'm silly. Why was I, why was I concerned? In that case, I want repeating fist, and you know what? We can get rid of that. Don't need that. I can get move HP up again? That seems better. <clears throat> I mean, my reaction abilities would be, unless I want to get something else. I'm limited to um, abandon, no. HP restore, nah, that could be good. Counter flood. Hmm. I'd rather have move HP. Wow, that's so. That seems a lot better. <clears throat> I still have range options. Only a few, but eventually he'll get it back. I really like spin fist and feeding fist. It's usually the ones I get. Outside of these three, AOE. Unavoidable. Really important. Alright. <clears throat> That's my team. I don't think... Eh, we'll see how much sense this makes. I guess it's just a ranged bombardment kind of thing. That is the plan. I guess that's the plan. Um, Zodiac signs? I think it'd be good. Like, that's what Archer doesn't really matter. Um. Defense ring. No elemental absorb stuff there. I could get nether water just to get around. Reflect? Well, it's most unreflectable, but nether water would be faster. I think that's okay. That's probably okay to get. And you can yell to start off. That's cute. Hopefully, it doesn't prioritize yell too highly. <clears throat> What is up with my throat? We don't need ether, so I can actually get one of these. Eh, sure. And then I'm gonna run to petrify or something. Stop. Silence berserk. Finger guard. Ah, eh, we should be good. Some more JP here. Stall is not 100 JP, stall is 300 JP. Um, blackmail doesn't seem bad. I'll just have one person with Yao. One person with Gal seems good. <clears throat> Should the mediator have yell? <clears throat> I don't know. They could both have yell. I I need to watch. I I need to see how frequently they use yell. That's the problem. I want them to use Ultima. So, well, I'll leave it at that. We'll figure things out. Um, compat wise, probably just be good compats or best. We can do 
best. Good. I think I just do good compat all around. Healing. Better healing. Better. Well, just in the Nether Fire, but the Revive and uh, Chakra. The thing. Alright. Uh. Pisces. Cancer. This one will be Cancer as well. Scorpio. Alright, that is the team. Hope it was interesting. I took a really long time for this one. My bad. That happens a lot. You get an idea, a half finished idea, and then. Well, rolled with it. Ha, ah, roll, Katamari. Um. Yeah. This should be interesting. Curious to see how it plays out. Um. But yeah. More of the story. Um, think before you speak. Ultima's good. I don't know. Something like that. Make sure you know what you're talking about. That's like the same as thinking before you speak. Yeah. Shinjo, I learned to evaluate stuff. Ultima's not useless. You crazy. Alright, cool, thanks. Hope you guys had fun watching, and then hopefully um, someone, maybe me, <laughs> could do a t video with this team. And yeah, alright, till next time guys. Bye.